focus and concentration.
impact with the SSRIs, and this may be something very important to look at for people with treatment-resistant depression. Now, there are other medicines that, that play with the NMDA receptor, but ketamine was approved in the 1970s and is used, is used every day in hospitals. I know people don't realize that because it has a little bit of a bad rap for abuse, but ketamine is an anesthetic it's an analgesic, meaning it's for pain control, anesthesia, and even something um, a dissociative to help people when they're going through surgery. It's used in the ERs all the time. People don't realize that. Sometimes it'll be given for sedation in the ER. In a lot of cases, it's used by your oral surgeon or your dentist. If you need to be put under for a tooth procedure, they'll give you a little bit of ketamine.
Thank you.